Presentation Plus is available exclusively with the new 4th edition of Interchange, the most widely used and the most successful English course in the world, incorporating video, audio, and even online resources, all with the click of a mouse. With Presentation Plus, your students will be laser focused on the task at hand as you use the built-in presentation tools to highlight key concepts, reveal answers to exercises, annotate passages, play class audio passages and video segments, and even embed web links right into your lessons. Let us show you how Presentation Plus can help you deliver more engaging and effective lessons. Visit the link below or contact your Cambridge University Press representative for a demonstration today. How do you answer the workbook? First, watch the explanations video. Then, Answer three pages of the workbook by yourself. Finally, check the answers and see the correction. Interchange three workbook answers. Unit one, that's what friends are for. Exercise 1 2. The chance like meeting new people and having friends over for dinner. They are one of the most sociable couples they know. Sociable. British, sociable, American, sociable. 3. You can't trust Jane. She always promises to do something, but then she never does it. She's pretty unreliable. 4. Alex wants to be an actor. It's hard to break into the business. But his family is very supportive of his dream. Supportive. British supportive. 5. I never know how to act around Tina. One minute she's in a good mood, and the next minute she's in a bad mood. She's so temperamental. Exercise 2. A. Note words in italics were given as examples. Opposites within. Incompetent. Independent. Inexperienced. Inflexible. Informal. Insensitive. Opposites with an. Unattractive. And cooperative. Unpopular, unreasonable, unreliable, unsociable. B. Answers will vary. Exercise 3. B. Hmm. So, what kind of person are you looking for? I want to travel with someone who is easygoing and independent. That is easygoing and independent. Who? That. B. Right. And you'd probably also like a person who is reliable. That is reliable. Yeah. And I wanted someone I know well. Here, no. Who or that or which? Nothing. Zero. So, why don't you ask me? You? I know you too well. I know you too well. Ha <laughs> ha. Does that mean you think I'm someone who is high strong? That is high strong, dependent, and unreliable? No, I'm just kidding. You're definitely someone I could go on vacation with. So, what are you doing in June? Exercise 4. Answers will vary. Exercise 5. A. The snake and the tiger. B. Sign the dragon. 2. 
sign the board. 3. Sign the roster. 4. Sign the tiger. Exercise number 6. 1. B. I like it when people are easygoing and friendly. 2. D. I don't mind it when people are a few minutes late for an appointment. 3. C. It upsets me when rich people are stingy. 4. A. It embarrasses me when someone criticizes me in front of other people. It embarrasses me when someone criticizes me in front of other people. Exercise 7. Answers will vary. Possible answers. 2. I love it when someone gives me a gift. 3. It bothers me when someone calls too early in the morning. 4. It makes me happy when I finish work for the day. 5. I can't stand it when I'm stuck in traffic. 6. It upsets me when I can't see at the movies. Exercise 8. Answers will vary. Possible answers. 2. It bothers me when someone yells at me. 3. I really don't mind it when people eat at their desk. I really don't mind it when people eat at their desk. 4. It upsets me when people don't clean up after themselves. Exercise 9. Answers will vary. Exercise 10. 1. I can tell, I can tell Simon anything and I know he won't tell anyone else. I can really trust him. Trust. 2. Brenda has a very high opinion of herself. I don't like people who are so egotistical. Egotistical. 3. It bothers me when people are too serious. I prefer people who are easygoing and have a good sense of humor. 3. Easygoing. 4. I like it when someone expresses strong opinions. Hearing other people's views can really make you think. 4. Opinions 5. Jackie is very rich, but she only spends her money on herself. She is very stingy. Unit 2. Career Moves Exercise 1. A. 2. Green Researcher A. 3. Guidance Counselor B. 4. Organic food farmer E 5. Social media manager C 6. Zookeeper D B. Answers will vary. Possible answers 1. An accountant is someone who keeps records of income and expenses an accountant is someone who keeps records of income and expenses. 2. A fashion designer is someone who designs stylish clothing. 3. A flight attendant is someone who takes care of passengers in flight. Exercise 2. A. Positive, negative, challenging, fantastic. Fascinating, interesting. Rewarding, positive, negative, negative adjectives, awful, boring, dangerous, difficult, frightening. B. Answers will vary. Exercise 3. Exercise 3. A. Work. For an airline, travel to different countries computers, learning new software programs, as a high school coach, teach discipline and fitness, b. a university professor, do research, a writer, work independently, b. Anne and Tom, hmm, I don't know if I'd like that because I'd have to write every day. What do you want to do then? Well, I'm not sure either. 
I love working as a high school coach. I really enjoy being with teenagers all day and teaching disciplines and fitness. On the other hand, I'd be interested in working for an airline. Really? What would you like about that? Well, I'd love traveling to different countries all over the world. Oh, I could never do that. I think it would be very tiring work. C. Answers will vary. Possible answers. A and B. A. So, what kind of career would you like? Well, I'm not exactly sure. Working with computers could be interesting. You know, learning new software programs. This sounds interesting, but I wouldn't like it because I'd get tired of staring at a computer screen. I'd get tired of staring at computer screen. Well, what do you want to do then? A. Well, I love being university professor. Why is that? I enjoy doing research. I enjoy doing research, doing and also doing. Exercise 4. A. 1. Self-employed builder. 2. Freelance artist. 3. House painter. 4. Orchestra conductor. 5. Aerobics instructor. 6. Child care worker. B. Answers will vary. Exercise 5. 2. A, chef, a, chef is assistant. a chef's assistant has worse hours than a, than a waiter. A chef's assistant has worse hours than a waiter. 2. A dog walker is better paid than a student intern. 3. A house painter earns more than a camp counselor. 4. 5. A park ranger is not as well paid as a landscaper. 6. Being a yoga instructor is not as difficult as being a professor. 7. Being an, inter being an interior decorator is more interesting than being a sales assistant. 8. A guidance counselor has more responsibilities than a gardener. Exercise 6. 1. Wei Man works at the best Chinese restaurant in Vancouver. At. 2. I think working with other people is more fun than working alone. 2. With. 3. I would hate working in the media. It would be nerve-wracking. It would be nerve-wracking. 3. N. 4. Working as a dance instructor sounds great. 5. Working in an office is less interesting than working on a cruise ship. 5. N. On. Exercise 7. Answers will vary. Possible answers. 2. A. Working in a travel agency has better benefits than working in a, at a private summer school. Yes, but working as a tutor, a theater, working as a theater, American, British, a tutor, is more challenging than being a travel agent. 3. A tennis instructor doesn't make as much money as a tour guide. Yes. But a tour guide works longer hours than a tennis instructor. 4. A taxi driver, a taxi driver has a shorter work week than an office assistant. Yes, but working as an office assistant is less boring than being a taxi driver. Exercise 8. Answers will vary. Interchange 3, Unit 3. Could you do me a favor? Exercise 1. A. Would you mind giving me a ride home? 2. Is it okay if I turn down the television? 4. Do you mind if I use your cell phone? 5. 
I was wondering if I could borrow your car for the weekend. 6. Could you tell me how to get to the, to the subway? B. Answers will vary. Possible answers. 1. Can you pick up my mail? 2. I was wondering if you could take care of my cat. 3. Could you feed my fish? 4. Would you mind taking me to the airport? Exercise 2. Answer will vary. Exercise 3. Answer will vary. Possible answers. 2. A. Would you mind doing the dishes? I'm exhausted. Sorry, but I have to take out the trash. 3. Could you take care of these things? I have to leave early today. Sorry, but I have to leave early today too. Exercise 4 A. People make formal requests if the speaker thinks the listener will decline. People make less formal requests if the speaker thinks the listener will accept. B. Less formal, more formal, type. 1. Close the door. Less formal. Type 2. 2. It's really cold in here. More formal. 10. Could you possibly move your car? Could you possibly move your car? More formal. 4. May I borrow your dictionary? More formal. 5. I was wondering if you could help me with this assignment. More formal. 7. I need some help moving to my new apartment. Less formal. Type 1. 7. I'm sorry, but I can't stand loud music. More formal. 9. 8. Do you have a camera? Less formal. 3. Exercise 5. A. Noun. Verb. Apology. Apologize. Compliment. Verb. To compliment. Explanation. Explain. Invitation. Invite. Permission. Permit. Noun. A request. A request. To request. So here. When I have a noun, like a request, the stress in the beginning. But when I have request as verb, the stress in the middle. To request. Also, a compliment. A compliment. Noun, verb, to compliment. To compliment. A request. To request. So the stress is going to change. B. 1. Giving a compliment. 2. Accepting an apology. Accepting an apology. 3. Asking for favor. 4. Declining a request. Declining a request. 5. Making a request. Making a request. Exercise number 6. 1. My phone didn't work for a week. The phone company offered an apology and took Twenty dollars of my bill. Of my bill. One offered. Two. A friend of mine really loves to receive compliments, but he never gives anyone else one. I don't understand why he's like that. Two. Receive. Three. Carol is always talking on the phone. She makes a lot of calls, but she rarely returns mine. Maybe she never listens to her voicemail. 3. Returns. 4. I need to ask for a favor. Could you please give me a ride to school tomorrow? My bike has a flat tire. 4. Ask for. 
Exercise number seven. Answers will vary. Possible answers. One. Is Rosa is Rosa is Rosa Sanchez there, please? No, she's not. Would you like to leave a message? Yes, please. This is Anita Jensen calling from Toronto. Could you tell her that my my flight arrives at seven p.m. on Tuesday? Would you ask her to meet me in the, in the international arrivals area? Okay, I'll give her the message. Two, can I speak to Eric, please? I'm afraid he's not here. Do you want to leave a message? Yes, please. This is Kevin. Please, ask him if I can borrow his scanner. Ask him if I can borrow his scanner. And if it's okay, could you ask him when I could pick it up? Sure, I'll leave him the message. Three, could I speak to Alex, please? I'm sorry, but he's not here right now. Oh, okay. This is Mr. Todd. I'd like to leave a to leave a message. Could you tell him that the meeting is on Tuesday? Could you tell him that the meeting is on Thursday, Thursday at 10:30 a.m.? Could you? Could you tell him not to forget to bring his his report? Four. I'd like to speak to Jenny, please. She's not here right now. Can I take a message? Yeah. This is Philip Lim. Can you ask Jenny if she's going to the conference tomorrow? Can you ask Jenny if she's going to the conference tomorrow? And would you ask her what time it starts? Going to Ghana tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay, I'll give Jenny your message. Exercise eight, Chris Lynn. And I'll bring two extra speakers. We'll have amazing sound. Thanks. No problem. American, no problem. Now, what about food? What about food? Well, I thought maybe a salad. Would you mind bringing a big salad too? Well, okay. And how about drinks? Well, could you ask Jill to get some soda? And please, tell her, tell her, tell her, tell her not to be late. Last time we had a party. She didn't arrive till eleven o'clock, and everyone got really thirsty. I remember. One more thing, I was wondering if you could buy dessert. Hmm, sure, all right. But um, uh, would you mind if I borrowed some money to pay for it? Exercise nine. Two. Would you please ask Penny to stop by and talk to me? Three. I was wondering if I could borrow your guitar. Four. Could you ask Adam when he's coming over? When he's coming over, coming, coming. Five. Would you mind lending me your, your hairbrush? Would you mind lending me your hairbrush? Unit four. What a story. Exercise one. One. A sixty-nine-year-old grandmother in Paris. Went to the bathroom and stayed there for twenty days. What happened? As she was locking the door, the lock broke. She couldn't open the door. She shouted for help, but no one heard her because her bathroom had no windows. After nearly three weeks, the woman's neighbors wondered where she was. Firefighters broke into her apartment and found her in a very weakened state. While she was waiting to be rescued, she drank warm water. One, went, stayed, locking, broke, shouted, heard, wondered, found, waiting, 
drank. Two. A woman was behaving strangely when she entered Bangkok Airport. While she was checking in for an overseas flight, she had difficulty with a very large bag. The check-in clerk became suspicious and decided to x-ray the bag. The x-ray showed an image that looked like an animal. When airport staff opened the bag, they saw that a baby tiger was sleeping under lots of toy tigers. The tiger was taken to a rescue center for, for wildlife, and the woman was arrested. 2. Behaving. Entered. Checking in. Had. Became. Decided. Showed. Opened. Sleeping. Exercise 2. Sentences may vary. Possible sentences. 2. While as. I was using my computer. I suddenly stopped working. It suddenly stopped working. Or. I was using my computer when it suddenly stopped working. 3. While we were playing tennis. My racket broke. Or. We were playing tennis when my racket broke. 4. While or as I was taking a shower, the water got cold. Or I was taking a shower when the water got cold. 5. While I was cooking dinner, I burned my finger. Or I was cooking dinner when I burned my finger. Cooking cooking. Exercise 3. 1. A. Guess what happened to me last night? As I was getting into bed, I heard a loud noise like a gunshot in the street. Then the phone rang. Who was it? It was Mariana. It was Mariana. She always calls me late at night, but this time she had a reason. She was driving right past my apartment when she got a flat tire. It was very late. So while we were changing the tire, I invited her to spend the night. 2. I'm sorry I'm so late, Cassie. I was at the dentist. Don't tell me. While you were sitting in the waiting room, you met someone interesting. I know how you are Tom. I know how you are. I know how you are. Tom? Well? You're wrong. You're wrong this time. The dentist was cleaning my teeth when she suddenly got called away for emergency. So I just sat there waiting for two hours with my mouth hanging open. Exercise 4. A. Text message saves 18 people. B. Answers will vary. Possible answers. 1. 18 people. 12 tourists from the UK, Australia, and New Zealand, and 6 Indonesian crew members. 2. Because there were waves nearly 5 meters high, the engine broke down and there was power for only 3 lights on board. The boat had no marine radio. 3. Because she had a cell phone, it was the only chance they had to get help. 4. He called her and then called the branch of the British Coast Guard. 5. The high waves. 6. Maybe the weather improved and the Coast Guard pulled the small boat with a rope. Exercise 5. Answers will vary. Exercise 6 Bob and I had just got engaged, so we went to a jewelry store to buy a wedding ring. We had just chosen a ring when a masked man came in. After the robber had taken Bob's wallet, he demanded the ring. 
I had just handed to him when the alarm started to go off and the robber ran off. We were so relieved, but then the sales assistant told us we had to pay for the ring because they had given it to the robber. We had just told her that we wouldn't pay for it when the police arrived and arrested us. What a terrible experience! Exercise 7a 1 What an emergency! 2 What a triumph! 3 What a dilemma! b. Answers will vary, possible answers. Remit, far away from populated areas. Mainland, the main part of a country or continent, not including the island belonging to or surrounding it. Skip, miss, not to do. Remarkably, incredibly, surprisingly. Promotion, a better paid job, usually with more responsibility in the same company. Resign. Resign G. Silent. Resign. Leave a job. Exercise 8. 1. After an art show opened in New York, it was discovered that someone had hung a famous painting by Henry Matt Mattis upside down. 2. In 2003, Italian workers found important archaeological remains while they were constructing a new parking lot in Vatican City. There were mosaics dating from 54 to 68 CE. 3. Russia had a very hot summer in 2010. The country, the country had not experienced such hot weather for at least 130 years. 4. In 2011, two divers discovered the remains of a 200-year-old shipwreck while they were diving off the coast of Rhode Island in the eastern United States. In the Eastern United States. Exercise 9. Reporters, Kendrys, and Arrivals Days. Sunday. Name. Mr. Swear, Kendry, Singapore. Monday. Name. Ms. Anderson. Ms. S. S. D. Ms. Ms. Anderson. Ms. means single or married, single or married woman. Ms. Anderson, the United States. Mr. Marks, Canada. Tuesday, name, Mr. Jackson, country, Australia. Name, Ms. Pinson, country, Italy, T of the Italy. Unit 5. Crossing Cultures. Exercise 1. 2. The first time I traveled abroad, I felt really depressed. I was alone. I didn't speak the language, and I didn't make any friends. 2. Depressed. 3. I should spend a year in France learning to speak French. It was a satisfying experience and I was fascinated by the culture. 3. Fascinated 4. At first, I really didn't like shopping in the open-air markets. markets. I felt uncomfortable because so many people were trying to sell me something at the same time. 4. Uncomfortable 5. When I arrived in Lisbon, 
I was nervous because I couldn't speak any Portuguese. As I began to learn the language, though, I became more confident about living there. Confident. Confident about it. Six. Take care of the stress on bath sound. Six. Before I went to Alaska last winter, winter, and also in American we say winter, winter, winter. Before I went to Alaska last winter, I was very worried, worried about the cold. But it wasn't the problem because most buildings there are well heated. Seven. When I was traveling in Southeast Asia, I couldn't believe how many different kinds of fruits there were. I was curious to try all of them, so I ate a lot of fruit. Eight. It was our first trip to Latin America, so we were uncertain about what to expect. We loved it and hope to return again soon. Exercise 2. Answers will vary. Some possible answers. 1. Public transportation is one thing I'd be uncertain about. I'd be uncomfortable with reading and familiar maps. 2. The architecture is something I'd be enthusiastic about. Looking at buildings is one of my favorite things to do in a new city. In a new city. 3. The climate is something I'd be uncomfortable with. I hate being cold. 4. The food is something I'd be curious about. I love testing new things. I love testing new things. 5. The language is one thing I'd be nervous about. I'd worry that people wouldn't understand me. 6. The money is something I'd be, I'd be comfortable with. I'm very good with numbers. 7. The music is one thing I'd be curious about. I always love to hear new groups. I always love to hear new groups. 8. Meeting people my age is something I'd be uncertain about. I am pretty shy. Exercise 3. A. Answers will vary. B. You can find articles like this one on website and in magazines. Anyone may want to read it, but the most likely readers would be people who are thinking of working, studying, or traveling abroad. Anyone, anyone may want to read it, but the most likely readers would be people who are thinking of working, studying, or traveling abroad. C. 1. Culture. Customs that are particular to specific country or group of people. 2. Culture shock. Discomfort caused by experiencing a culture different from one's own. 3. Appreciate, appreciate, to recognize and value. 4. Stereotypes, generalization about a group of people, generalization about a group of people. D. Answers will vary. Exercise 4. Answers will vary. Exercise 5. A. 2. Denmark and Spain. 3. Egypt, Egypt and New Zealand. 4. France and the United States. B. Answers will vary. Possible answers. 1. In Spain, you're expected to arrive late for most appointments. Appointments? Also, you can say appointments. For most appointments. 2. In France, you're not expected to leave tips in restaurants. 3. In Egypt, you're supposed to allow your host to treat you to meals in restaurants. 4. In Japan, it's not the custom to kiss people on the cheek. 
Exercise 6, answers will vary. Exercise 7, answers will vary. Share videos. It's a community. We're all doing this together.